Hey everybody, it is June 17th, and this is Squad Ops. We are running a One Life event tonight called Coyote Ridge, and I am CKY Matter, CMYK Matter, I should say, and joining me tonight is going to be the illustrious Muff. You hear Muff? Never heard of him. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Oh, yeah. We're going to be having a good time tonight. This is a brand new operation. We have never run this before. Uh, I guess we ran it earlier today, but anybody who is not in that is going to be facing off with something completely new tonight. So that'll be a good time. Muff and I both got to play in the one earlier today. It was a little bit of a messy affair, but I loved it. Actually, yeah, this operation is beautiful. It's so much fun. The thing is, there is zero vehicles. We're, we're taking it old school, <laughs> totally old school uh, squad before vehicles. And actually, we are allowed vehicles. There's transportation, transports and lodges. That's it. But everything else is on foot. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to worry about that long distance Humvee snipe or BTR taking you out. So you can peek a little bit better or at least try to get a better view without getting taken out. Absolutely. It's one of those operations that the grenade launcher actually reigns king again. I found that earlier the grenadiers were the guys who were really pulling it in for themselves. They were destroying left and right. You get up to those armaments, you see those sandbags and the things set up, and you just start raining GLs on it. Guarantee you there's going to be guys hiding behind them thinking that they're safe. They're not. Oh, yeah, entirely. And, and actually... Since this is a brand new op, we'll give you guys the rundown on what's going on. Oh, I'm yeah. Open my map really quick. The U.S., uh, they don't start at their main. They start at Sector 4. They get to drop a HAB up there, and, and basically that's their staging area. But as you can see down in, what's J? Jericho? I don't even know what J is. <laughs> Juliet, Kilo, and Lima. <laughs> Juliet, Kilo, and Lima 9. The Russians can place a FOB anywhere in there, but, and they have to defend it. And the U.S. have to take it. It's called Coyote Ridge. There's a big old ridge. It's full of trees. It runs all the way along this with open fields all around it. It's just a fucking death zone. And it's reckless t for the U.S. to push in, and it's just crazy. But it's a great infantry event. And oh, uh, yeah. the, once the combat starts, there's always something going on. It's almost like a Sumari map where once once it happens, we, we've got it so centralized into a little area that it just gets crazy once things start going it's awesome and like matter said before the grenade launchers reign supreme i love it uh firebat says jay could be junk in the trunk I, I feel like that's an accurate uh statement that'd be good i gotta say it's gonna be an interesting <laughs> operation uh maybe we should go over commands while we have the opportunity to do so commands in their sls uh if you want to kick us off muff you betcha you betcha i've got a uh a, a I don't know. I think it's new to the scene. I don't recognize the name. Let me get closer so I can read it. There we go. All right. Commander for the U.S. is Karma Cut. I don't know oh, if anyone recognizes who's that? It. Who is that guy? No idea. No idea. But he's got some really good squad leaders under him. That Those being Benbot, Tedish, Nasty Nate, and SM Pier Paradise. All these guys have squad led before. Completely going to be a great one. I, I I, even during brief right now, I hear, I hear Karma Cut emphasizing comms. Use comms. Listen to each other, communicate well. So, absolutely, we look forward to that. What, what's over on the uh, on the opposite side? Where are the Russians going to hold with? Yeah, the Russians. They've got the, a commander in Quirkly. Also going to be squad leading under him is going to be Google Trex, Shadowed Ritual, Satan, and Big Yes. So these are all names that I recognize. These are all guys that. I have definitely played with and also played under good squad leads, know what they're doing, know how to communicate, know how to follow orders. And I feel like Quirkly could definitely have full confidence in every single one of them. Yeah, that's almost a given anymore that the squad leaders in these events have done it numerous times. Mm -hmm. And you know what? It's exciting when we get new squad leaders that we don't see. Actually, the, earlier the today, I believe it was Jack Reynolds got the lead as first squad ever in a squad op. So it was that's a good time right, for him. That's right. That is yeah. very right. That was in the EU session earlier today. We that was the mm -hmm. first time we ran this the same event today. We've changed nothing. The rules haven't changed. The kits haven't changed, and as far as it goes, in in the event today, it was one and one for the sides. US won once, and the Russians won once. 
Now, granted, it was Absolutely. the same team that won both times. <laughs> but that yeah. speaks to the balance of the op if a, uh, a good team can win both times, you know? Yeah. And if it goes down to it, uh, it was Xbit's team that won. And for the record, Xbit designed this operation. So he might have had a little mm. strategy in mind. I didn't actually think about that until after the op was over. And I was like, you know, Xbit <laughs> knew what he was doing like a sumbitch. And but it's a yeah, great he, op. He moved in quiet and close, and he uh, took us by surprise there on the northwest. That was a good, that was a good piece of commanding. It was good to see. Yeah, yeah, the strategy's really, really cool to watch. In the during the Absolutely. first uh, the first round, it was surround it and push in. During the second round, it was like let's freaking spearhead him in and just go with the whole squad at once. Got to tell you, I'm watching these Russians run around getting themselves organized and everything. It's uh, it's quite humorous to see them scurry around down here like ants trying to set up their ant farm before the big mean Americans come rolling in. Oh, this is cool. The Americans got everybody into two transports, except for two guys. <laughs> they don't have room <laughs> for two guys. Well, they're you're hoping that. The no, they're going to get in the front in one of these lodges, I bet. Oh, yeah. It's Schnapps and Red Bull. Schnapps and Red Bull. Mm -hmm. That's like a drink at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you drink those together, together, you're probably going to have a bad night, though. Oh, yeah. man. Schnapps and Red Bull. Ugh. Yeah, that's their names. That's really funny. I like it. I like it. Actually, I think there's room for one in this other. Or no? Is there? Nope. The Russians have done something really interesting, actually. They have decided uh, normally... This ridge up here, this Juliet Kima, Kilo Lima ridge line, is the one that everybody so far has set up upon. They've set up upon these these trees and these roads and everything. And Quirkly has decided to do something a little different for himself. He has actually pushed himself down into this ditch that sits below the ridge line, just south of that ridge line. And he has decided to set up their fob here and see if maybe they can catch them a little off guard. There's a big field to the north. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, that'll be cool to see if they, they do that, if they push out a little bit. Or... Yeah. It seems well, like right, they're we're getting ready one minute. Oh, yeah. Yes, they're going to be loud. It seems like they've got a good force pushing out. They've got a couple guys, at least one fire team with Satan as their commander, spreading out far east to kind of get some eastern security. They've got another fire team pushing out northeast to seal off the ridge line. It's it's interesting. It looks like they're keeping some loose security on the outside, but mostly focusing a lot of their forces for right now on this interior. We're gonna we're going live in about I think one minute. Actually, about ten but seconds I'm, now. I think it's forty nine. They're going live at. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah, I think. Nope. No, nope, we're is. live now. Fifty. All right. We are live, so oh, I'm everybody's totally off. in the truck with the soldiers of the U.S. Love it. I'm just driving along with them. They've got two squad leaders in here. I see their antennas sticking up out of their backpacks. That's not dangerous at all. Oh, there's 13 of them in here or something. I don't know. Wow. Well, I will say, though, this mission does not have any lats, so it would just have to be one of those... Yeah, those grenadiers hitting them. Yep. yep, yep. So this is interesting. The Russians have actually pushed a couple people into one of the lodges, and they're using it as a transport currently to ferry a couple people out here to their northwest flank. See if they can get early eyes on. Ooh, the U.S. are complimenting their drivers. They're saying great driving. They might have taken the SOTT vehicle course. Just saying. You know what? That is a very good course to take. It is. It's actually, I, I consider that my the course that I had the most fun with. Though I got the most info from AWS, I feel like. They're all great, though. They are. U.S. are just sticking together with all their vehicles. They're coming over into, I guess you'd call it Sector 1 on the map. If they're not heard, they might be seen. I'm going to go ahead and turn some stuff back on. I do on. not there think we go. so, considering Russia has not managed to push out even over that ridge line to be able to see them in Sector 1 right now. So, Russia is just flying blind for the moment.
That's awesome. The U.S. have just dismounted. They're off to the far west of the Russians. I can see Squad 1 is over there looking directly mm -hmm. west. That's the first ones they're going to make contact with. The entire U.S. team is over here. They're going to start spreading out, I guarantee it. Karma Cut actually just said he wants good spacing, so they all know the plan. I can see different members running and spreading everywhere. Grunt Rebel, thanks for the compliment, says, damn, the production quality of this stream here is awesome. We can attribute most of that to the man behind the camera, the one that you can hear, Mr. Penn. Gotta love him. Also, if you guys didn't know, there's about 15 cameras going on tonight. And that's that's including myself and Matter. But we've also got BenBot16, a crazy Russian digit Google Trex, Tedish Truth Realm, it's crit speed, Shadow Ritual, J Remick, Best Pony Merrick 362, and Han Solo. And all we'll give you guys, guys a good shot at all of them real quick. So many of them. 50 meters over. And it's that amazing getting great. to see that Dude, first person view. It's so cool getting to see that. Come on. This looks like a five. Alpha, also, I've got to mention, we side. have a full That's server crazy. tonight. It is as full as we can get it. Squad Lots of teams. And we have a key giveaway. We have a squad key giveaway tonight, too, since we're on top of it. Before the action starts, we're going to give away a squad key tonight to in the chat. So we're going to, with about, I don't know, close to the end of the match, we'll say, hey, everybody, type something in chat so that you can get entered. And you can get entered. All you'll have to do is send a message, and you have the possibility of winning a squad key. You can keep it for yourself, give it away to somebody else, do whatever you want to do with it. We don't care. After we hand it over to you, it is all done. In fact, I'm completely capable of setting that up right now. Let's do it. So over here on the Russian side, we've got Shadowed Ritual in his squad, who has pushed out... And they are just kind of keeping themselves situated on this northwest angle, trying to actually act as forward scouts. Shadow Ritual has his binocs out, checking around, making sure that he doesn't see anything coming in. If you can see off in the distance, though, to his west, there are a literal ton of... American infantry pushing towards him. You know what? The Americans are so organized. I can see all four squads. They've got three squads in the front from north to south. Just pushing it. One, two, three, north to south. Even on the map, it's one, two, three, north to south. That's it's beautiful. really cool. They're in a sweet line. And then in the back, they've got the last squad, squad four, along with command, supporting and covering the flank. And I can see guys turning left and right to watch the behind him in front, even though they're still just initially pushing in. You know what might really be an issue position. here? They're so, they're setting themselves up in that line, right? And it looks like they're aligning themselves to push across this ridge. If they don't send a squad down to that south ridge, Quirkly's fob placement might actually be a little bit of a surprise to them. They might push through these woods and not find the fob, and then trying to turn and figure out that it's actually in the ditch that is down here to their south, that might be a little bit of a tough time for them. We'll see how that operates, though. Yeah, that's a really cool fob placement for Kirkley. I like that. It is just inside the nine grid box, basically. Just inside it. Oh, this is just awesome. They are all sticking together. There's a squad up, the one squad up to the, or down to the south, they've got the city or the town. We'll call it the metropolis here. It's huge. They're, they're <laughs> pushing through there. So they're not so in line, but actually they're they're spreading out right now. They're totally just spreading right back out as soon oh as they my. Get to where they can. They totally just spread back out. That is amazing to watch. That is awesome. Emphasis on that. I think that's Nasty Nate Squad. Yeah, that's Nasty Nate Squad. Shadowed Ritual yeah, still my. just sitting out here on my screen. You can see it in I believe it's the top left. Oh Thank yeah, I see me. Ram. I also see Ram down here and Agalock. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. So that's Shadow Ritual Squad. They have just placed themselves out here to act as this kind of canary in the coal mine. Somebody comes in and you call it out, try to bound back. If they run into this full American force, though, they're not going to be long for this world if they don't get moving quickly. Yeah, that's the thing. They might take down the first or second guy, but they are going to get wiped so fast because there's an entire army here, you know? And really, they've only got oh, wow. one or two scouts. 
Karma Cut oh, reminded everyone of spacing. Here we go. Uh, Shattered Ritual on so Ram. Sick. Ram might be the first contact here. Yeah, Hammered Hebrews pushing up in the front. He's kind of in the spear. He's Oh, he just stopped, though. He knows he's close. I see Dagos, Jay mm -hmm. Remick, Kahuna, Jay's Mighty. Carpy, Rival Helicopter, and Tear Gun pushing up real close to Ram right now. Ram has to see oh, that. Oh, man, does. here we go. Here we go. It's going to get crazy. Ram has got to see him. He's going to shoot first. Ram's going to shoot first, or yep. Shadow Ritual is. One of the two. Oh, this is God. Not Come on. The first contact. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's looking right at him. Oh, no. Shadow Evans going to walk up on ramps. Evans is right on ramps. Oh, oh, Shadowed Ritual taking shots. He's fired. Oh, Shadowed, Shadowed Ritual goes down. That was Tedish. Tedish called him out and shot him. That's a squad lead down. Oh, my God. Evans just ran right by ram. Oh. <laughs> I am right on him. They are so close. Ram has not moved, and Evans is just... He's Can he not 20 hear feet the away. footsteps? He's 20 feet away. Ram is just hiding behind this bush. He had to have seen these guys walk past him. All right, Hebrews going towards Crazy Russian and Egalok. Oh, Crazy Russian's taking shots. Yeah, Looks I like Mighty's that shooting, that maybe. Ram's still back there. Yes, he is. He is now behind enemy lines, but he's alone. Bravo, start pulling back. Start pulling back. Crazy Russian trying to keep some eyes on this this push here to the west. Oh, he goes down. And still, the U.S. are pushing hard. They've got a full squad below the rocks. They're on the north side wow. of the rocks or the ridge, which is a great flank they can go to. We might see the Russians start falling back. Interestingly, though, the U.S. is sticking to this ridge line. Remember, we talked about that. They're sticking to the ridge line, and Quirkley has his fob placed to the south. They're going to have to reorient to find that fob. They're all the way up on the road, though. They're all the way up to the road. They so are. If they don't yes. find it. They'll they'll definitely. Oh, Pure Paradise adjust. is about to walk up on Ram. Let's see if he sees him. No, he, he didn't. He walked right by him. He walked right by. Him. All right, the Iron Tyrant just went down. The U.S. have got a great push going. They've got Odessa them outnumbered. Their organization is great. And Ram is still a, just a snake in the grass. He, he is an absolute bush ninja right now. <laughs> just an absolute bush ninja. I can't believe it. He has become one with his shrubbery overlords. <laughs> The U.S. have contained, they've held their entire line. They've still got the line going. It's almost horseshoeing a little bit, wrapping around them as they can see the uh, opening up to victory. But they don't know. The, the fob is so far away. They're pushing it with confidence, but they're not, they don't know what they, they're going to find nothing, you know? Yeah, they're going to push this whole ridge line. I know Karma Cut was very confident earlier. He said after we played the EU round that he was sure he knew what he was going to do if they run this again and it seems like this was his plan coming into action we'll see how he adjusts whenever he doesn't find the fob where he expects it yep there are zero u.s guys on the north side or south side of that road Absolutely. they're all north of the road still and most of the One russian five, forces zero, are on the south the side background. so so far really good for the u.s but maybe they're walking right into what kirkley wants them to do Ram has not moved from his bush. He's just sitting, enjoying the view around him and knowing that he basically just sat through the entire line of U.S. forces. He might not even know. He, know. he knows that he heard a lot of footsteps around him. He might not even know that that was their entire army that pushed by them. You know, I just checked out kill-wise. Russia has zero. The U.S. has four. Ooh. So that's not they've good. taken zero casualties. And we're about to get some more contact. There's Han Solo, Munger, and actually they've they've hit Dagos. Han Solo is firing at Jay's, Hammered Hebrew, Kahuna, Tedish. Contact, contact, contact's close, contact's close. Let's get down on the combat. Uh, Fifty meters to my west. Fifty meters to my west. Oh, the suppression is real.
Kahuna's gonna push up. Maybe he, he'll see behind the tree. Oh, he's throwing a nade. Let's see if the nade hits. Ah, oh, drops him. He is done. Sorry, Han Solo. Smoke out. Throw it west and on the street. I got both. I got multiple contacts. Uh, west and northwest. Nice. Did you guys see that? I hope you saw that Kobe by whoever. Yeah. And in the meantime, here we go again. They're pushing south. They're, they know. They, they're Look at that. Oh, good organization by the U.S. But there is a full squad to the east. They did, too. They, they realized, they pivoted, and they are now moving southward completely. That is a great pivot to get the squads pushed out into that spear formation and then turn themselves to pivot south. That's... It's good organization. So and, and Karma Cut just said hold position. He said they're trying position, to figure out what to do. Look at them; they're along that road. They're just all along the road. A couple yep. of them behind, and a couple of them actually got. It must be a, a squad down there with yeah, schnapps in it. That's nasty oh, Nate's squad down there. That smoke wall. Look at that smoke wall coming out. Wow. Is that the Russians? That's the Russians throwing that, isn't it? That is. That's wild. The orange smoke gives it away that you have the orange. Yeah, Those new the black US has red, white, and blue. So awesome. Absolutely. I like the black smoke. I do like it. I know, There's I guess it's considered a lighting bug at this point. They're trying to fix it so that it refracts light Sandbags through the smoke. Up. But now it's just showing up as black. I like it. I'd keep it. <laughs> so I wonder what the U.S. is going to do here. They seem to be setting themselves up to push this road. Yeah, they're spreading seeing... out even a little more. They're checking their spacing, getting a little more organized. Oh, we've got shots going out. That's that is definitely that Eastern the squad. East. And the Sylvia has gone down to the Biff U.S. Tannen. Yep. Alternate 1985 Biff Tannen, Space Monkey, Cereal, and Fatal Donuts out here on the East, trying to distract them a little bit. Yep, Fat City, Ben Bot's the squad leader. More Eads Absolutely. kids there, Magnetic. Space Monkey takes a hit. This is interesting. The U.S. aren't really moving too much right now, but they're starting to get pushed. Oh gosh, Karma just ordered one and two. He, he ordered these squads that are getting shot at from the east to keep going east. <laughs> <laughs> Serial has go. hopped in one of the lodges here, and he's pushing out, it looks like. They're going to mount up and try to get back to the basement? No, they moved the lodge to get more cover from the east, or from the west. Gosh, well, Biff Tannen is still laying on the ground. Absolutely. Or he's really close. He's almost on the road now. Benbot's leading the way in. Let's look at this western front. Oh, gosh. Biff Tannen's right there. Is he going to see him? Nope. They're not going to see each other, I don't think. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's shots. This western element here, just holding out in this tree line, trying to keep an eye. They know that they've got enemy to their north, but they don't know how many. Oh, U.S. throwing grenades at the Lodgy truck? Good stuff. Absolutely. Oh, oh, Fat City goes down. He's taking shots. I think that was Biff Tannen that got him. And another one goes down. Oh, Who's no. That? Ben Bot's going to walk in the same line. Why is he going there? Tear gun went down. Yep. Oh, Ben, ben Bot goes, goes down. down. He was squad leader. Oh, he, he went was. right to where his friendlies went down. That was rough. That's unfortunate. This eastern flank, though, holding out. There's an Four entire guys. squad south. Yeah. Wow. I'm going to back it up here. That squad to their north is going to give them some grief at some point, I would imagine. You know what? Look at how... You know what's awesome? How well these guys adjust. Everyone adjusts. Now there's the squad over here to the 
West Side, the Southwest, Nasty Nate Squad. They've got a fire team down to their south. They've got, of course, the main army off to their east. Absolutely. But that fire team adjusted. They've adjusted. Everyone's adjusted. These guys are sitting here. They're all getting close. They're getting prone. They're taking up that ditch. In the meantime, the rest of their team's getting farther away. But the Russians are adjusting towards them too. There's becoming a gap over there between the red and Ooh, uh, red and blue smokes. You know, east side. We've got a couple guys going down. Alternate 80, 1985 Biff Tannen goes down on the east. Space Monkey, Fatal Donuts, PK Fun, and Smoshy still up, trying to hold this angle. Oh, Space Monkey V2.0 goes down. Grenades coming in. Whew. You know what? They've got Pure Paradise below the rocks on them. They Straight do. to their north. That Squad 4 for the U.S. is going to come in and just wreak havoc. It looks like you know, this is a smart play if this is the case. It looks like they basically told this other squad to set up a base of fire, keep their attention while they push this other... Squad from SM Pure Paradise around. That's oh, and here goes Tennis' forces. squad. Oh, they are going crazy. Smoker needs are going out. U.S. are throwing tons of smokes. Here we go. It's fuck. They're going Cypress Hill concert up in here. Red, white, and blue smokes going out. Are you crazy? The grenades There's raining in. Those GLs so open up. You know what? The U.S. are doing a great job of moving in and. They are, throwing, they are. Throwing rounds downfield, you know? Oh, They're shooting cute. their guns. Cool Breeze ate a GL. We were talking about those GLs earlier and the power of them in these kind of pushes. Oh, yeah, they'll keep wrecking. Look at Teddy. He's, he's helping his squad move in, mm -hmm. and he's laying on the road. He's right in the wide open road. The guy's got no fear. Oh, time for some more smokes. Hammered Hebrew goes down as he pushes through. El Sabrowski goes down. Jay's goes down. Jay's goes down. Fun oh, guy fun goes guy. down. People are dying here. Lots of dead. Oh, Dagos is getting shot at. Let's get off some, to the east. The entirety of that eastern flank. That entirety of the eastern flank is taken oh. out by SM Pure Paradise. Oh, that squad SM Pure Paradise did exactly has destroyed what we them. Yep. And look, the rest of them are falling back. They're going to get and their asses walked up on Triton, Best Pony, and hopefully keep yep. a 360. I hope they keep 360. Otherwise, it's going to get real ugly for the Russians here. In the that meantime, Tedish's squad has taken heavy casualties. There's only three of them left, it looks like. But you know what they pushed? Oh, Ram! There's Ram! He came out of his fucking bush. He made it back <laughs> to the fight. And oh, he, he dropped Tedish! Oh, wow! Legendary. Oh, oh, he Ram. took out Kahuna, too. The only one left is Mighty, and Ram's going to come in and get him, too. Is he on him? He got him! Great job. Hero Look, of the match right there, I think. That was Four crazy. Kills. Yeah. What a what a job by Ram. That was awesome. Ram, nice work. Wow. That was fantastic. You got to love that. See, that kind of story. Him waiting behind and then taking out an entire push. He stopped that push dead. Oh, wow. yeah. You know, you just, that patience. Oh. That. And look at that, though. The, the U.S., they've still got this Western squad. Oh, and Karma Cut's over here. This is Nasty Nate Squad yep. with Karma Cut. And there's not, a, there's not a lot left for the Russians over here. I see Truth Realm, a couple other folks. About 15 years to your Keevan, yep. Big Yes. Keevan. Okay, yeah. yeah, there's a couple guys hanging out. Okay, so here. the U.S. for the most part have them surrounded. Tennis just squad That's got completely deal. wiped. But at that cost, they've got them on two sides. They've got them in the crossfire, yep. you know? They've got a they've got to hold those two angles. That's going to be rough with this ditch in the middle here. Oh, and they're pushing. There's, there's no best ability. Oh, down. best pony goes down. Triton goes down. Oh, Triton's up still. Oh no, Triton is up. Yep, you're right. Satan, Satan went down. Yep. Triton putting out rounds down range. That suppression has to be wearing on him right now. How's the, how's the communication going on uh, Russia's side? So far, so good, actually. They're communicating. They're switching off squad leads as people go down as needed. And so far, it's not been too bad. Though Quirkly, Quirkly did just tell everybody to just hard point up, go firm, and try to keep fire out at every angle. He, they know what they're doing, but it's still rough. Quirkly's still up, though, so that's nice. Having your command up, always a good thing. Carbacut is also up, and communication is great on the U.S. side. 
they, they've got most of their squad leaders up still too, which is really good. I that's think Tedish's squad is the only one that's really down. So good things are happening for the U.S. They've got the crossfire thing going. Absolutely. And they're slowly moving in. Not to mention their battle spacing is just on top of this Fantastic. world Fantastic. Right for the most part. A couple of them are close together. Yeah, the southeast side of this, this hold for the Russians has all but collapsed considering Pony is down over there, and he was kind of the only one. <laughs> so they've got Triton. Sneaky Sniper asked if was Pony playing Marksman. I approve of this. No, we don't. There's no optics as infantry yeah. units, Sniper. So in, in in any mission, there's nothing there. Unless it's a special mission, which actually we don't really play. We did have a one Marksman mission, but for the most part, no optics at all. It's a little too OP for a one-life mission. So that's why we don't do it. We like to keep it so it feels a little bit balanced. You know, everything should feel a little fair. Getting yep. shot by optics from forever and a year away, not fun. Yeah, we used to have, before vehicles, you had to walk a long ways. Yep. And so you'd you, walk, you walk, walk, walk. And, <laughs> and then an optic <laughs> one taps you. And I mean, not start spring. Let the salt sprinkle because. Who had the marksman? Pony? Let me find Pony. No, that is an AR symbol. He he was he had a uh, an assault or um an oh, LMG. Yep. He was yep. uh, he did the MGR. Automatic rifleman. Yep. Oh, Triton gets hit. We are so Oh, I can hear local really talk. Now. Everyone's yelling in local for the US. They are doing a great job of communicating. I think I just heard Odessa laugh. They might have. Then She's again, that's a sense of humor. Yeah. <laughs> She's bloodthirsty. <laughs> Communication for the Russians is starting to break down a little bit. These pushes are wearing on them. They're still talking, but it has slowed down considerably. You know what? As for the kills go, it's not too much. It's about a seven kill difference. The U.S. have the advantage. And now that numbers are getting lower, it does start to make a difference. Absolutely. And they're moving in. They're still moving in. And they're doing it nice and slow up. and controlled, it looks like. Doing yeah, the they're trying thing. to shove it up. Yeah, trying to shove up these lines as carefully as they can. Pushing the tree lines, using that for cover and concealment. That's great idea. That's great work. Oh, immune style running away. Just barely living over here. Jax, wow. Shidenator, and Turtle Guy 5 are really close to Triton. Looks Triton's like he has gotten back. He's... Yep, absolutely. I'm right over Jax. What are they shooting at? Can't even see. There's so many names in the way. Let's figure it out here. There we go. Oh, Odessa just goes down. She ate a stray shot. Not even sure who that was from. Triton holding behind this. Shots whizzing in over his head. Pinging off the trees, the sandbags, the hill behind him. This little hole that he has for himself behind these sandbags is hell right now. It's his only protection, but also it's keeping him here. It's his prison. Gosh, it's just crazy. Triton I'm going to bust He's over to the other side. I'm going to check Absolutely. out what's going on on the other side real quick. There's, looks like there's three U.S. guys left up here. All their friendlies that pushed in got wiped. That's Mob Savage, Merrick 362. Oh, Merrick 362 is already down. But three U.S. soldiers down there. Looks like Torch Mock was holding the line, looks like. He's got himself four kills. Nice work. SM Pure Paradise goes down as well. Who's over here? Oh my god, Ram! Ram pushing up behind. He took out Odessa. He took out... Ram Cam! Ram Cam! Go to Ram wow. Cam. Wow! He's right behind Dermaplast now. Oh! Ram takes down... Oh, no. He takes down Dermaplast. The What's man. The, the myth. The legend. Ram. Ram's got eight. <laughs> oh, he gets Ram's eight. killed eight. Down. He took out eight oh, before he went man. down. That's MVP. That's it. Zoom in on the body of the uh, of the MVP of the game right here. Oh, that fucking nade just took out Torch Mock. There it is again. I think that was a rock or a GL. 
Torchmach goes down. He was holding that sandbag like a son bitch too, but now there's three Americans up here, ready to push in. And Kirkley is alive. Moose is alive. Corsair, big yes. That's it. I think four or five Russians is all that's left. Yeah, Triton, he's still alive. Not many of them. Yeah, five Russians is, is what's left, and there's not that many more U.S. Magnetic to mind, Mantano. Six I Russians. Can't see the other Six, two. Yep. And there's three more, Schnapps, Red Bull, and Game Master Me. Schnapps and Red Bull hanging out together. Nice. I, I don't know. I don't know, man. These two guys, they, they just find – they're on different squads, too. Triton oh, no, they're in the same squad. Trying to get Jax. Oh, shit. Truth he Realm takes just down Turtle Fog. Schnapps is down. It's up to dead. Red Bull. Oh. Excellent. Game Master like Meme it. shooting at Truth Realm. So is Red Bull. They can't hit him. Truth Realm's got the advantage. He's unseen or unhit. And he can, he can shoot back. Jump over to his side. Oh, he's bandaging. He was bleeding. Oh, he's down. They got him. Oh, the mind has pushed in on the southeast over here. And he's going to get line of sight on Griff and Fafinator if he pushes up here. Triton has gone down. This is the easternmost element. This is the easternmost element for the Russians. Griff and Fafinator trying to hold this little hole here. And they've got guys directly to their south. See if they see him. Gosh, it's hard to see anything. There's so many fireflies. I see Kirkley. I got Big Yes. I got Moose for the Russians. Oh! Scheidenator goes down. Jax gets shot. A nade goes out. Oh, that oh! gets Jax! Oh, wow. What a nade. And Fafinator dies bleeding out while he threw that, right. or after he threw that it? nade. Are we down to four U.S.? Or, I'm sorry, Russians? Looks Corsair, like Big Yes, Kirkley, and Moose. All right. The U.S. don't have many more. There's Magnetics, the Mind, and those two guys are over here on the Red Bull game master. One side. Me, yep. And then Red Bull is so it's four on four. It's four on four right now with the U.S. pushing in from the outside. And the Russians holding the inner. All right, get these get these cams out of your way. All right, we don't know the names. <laughs> so gl glory's not going to be given to those who deserve it, but it's about to get dirty. Oh! I just heard someone go, ugh, when they got shot. <laughs> yeah, he's bad. A couple guys here to the south pushing in. That's the mine. Oh, here comes, one of them. Okay, super here comes the Russian. We've lost Yo, Montana. Oh, Griff, Montana oh. got him. Griff goes down. Oh, unfortunate. That leaves just Quirkly laying around here in the hab. I believe that's Quirkly. Kirkley, Moose, Big Yes, and Corsair. Hey, you see those fucking smokes popping east? Two smokes just popped uh, from my one slot. Oh, All right, we're going to fucking move. Is someone stuck? No, he's not stuck. I don't think he's stuck. I think maybe this is some sort of visual bug or something. It's weird. It does look like he's below the hab. Oh, that's Kirkley. That's command. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, that's just a visual bug for me. All right, we still got Montano, Demind, Magnetic, and they're actually throwing frags, it sounds like. Oh, they killed themselves. <laughs> to my wow. suicide in an accident. <laughs> wow. I'm going to have to give him a hard time after tonight. Oh, man, that poor guy. Oh, wow. He totally needed it. I bet he threw it in that tree in front of him. That's, that's too bad. So, the U.S. have just lost the advantage now. They've he took an extra casualty. We're down to one, two, three, four on three. Four on three now. Four on four. Four on four, yeah. Bad. Four on four. Oh, someone went down. It was big yes. Big yes goes down for the Russians. So the U.S. are still in this with their numbers, at least. 
They've actually got the advantage. Kirkley's still holding the hab. Corsair, Corsair. holding this western side, yep. Yeah, and, and Moose is still over there on the, I guess, the southern side mm -hmm. or northern. Corsair trying to trying to hold here. Oh, Corsair gets taken out. Dropped. Good shot. Good shot by Game Master Me. So there's yep. two left now, Moose and Kirkley. And Kirkley is the command. <laughs> you don't see him survive that long most of the time, so props to him. Kirkley just holding in that hab. Moose taking shots. Moose, Moose is goes down. down. Kirkley, Kirkley, last man standing. Last command, man can he carry it? Kirkley, last man alive. Oh, dropping. Oh, he just he just dropped somebody. <laughs> Kirkley <laughs> might win this. I'm gonna get they, right behind Kirk. Yeah, they're looking at him. He's command. And he's right there. He is in the just right in the corner of his hab here. Great positioning. If if this guy can be patient, the rest of his team over here, that other two. It's three on one. For those watching in the bottom down here, that's Kirkley. And then there's three U.S. soldiers up in the top Game here. Game Master on the right. Red Bull. Still alive. There's actually only two of them. Game Master Me and Red Bull. Oh, yeah, three Americans. I'm sorry. We're swapping positions to get cameras correct since I'm going to follow blue. And I'm going to follow my blue. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're totally discussing strategies. Magnetic and Game Master Me are yeah, totally distracted uh, talking about it. Or maybe it's Red Bull. I, I killed that guy. I killed that guy. Oh, I killed yeah, that guy. Game <laughs> no, 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 no. Quirkly down here when those shots just came out, he's like, what's he shooting at? There's only me. <laughs> Yeah, and it's Red Bull. Yeah, all three of them are trying to talk. Because he's bleeding now. <laughs> oh, yeah. They might have just shot Magnetic. <laughs> yeah, he did. They de oh. team shot. No, he's they alive, though. Him. He's alive, he's okay. though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's sad. Yeah, Red Bull accidentally shot Magnetic. Yep, he's alive. Eventually, so I'm just going to I'm just going to chill. Makes the attic still up. In a cold one with the boys. Here's the Quirkly says he's just going to chill here and crack open a cold one with the boys. He's just going to relax here and get a beer, enjoy himself tonight. All right, we're going to see Game Master Meme push. Game Master Meme is going to push up to a sandbag, it sounds like. In local, yeah, here right. he goes. He's going to be covered by Red Bull. Magnetic. I don't know if he can hear him or not, but he's going to try to. They're using nothing but local right now because their commands mm -hmm. are down. He's in there. I see him. Oh, Game Master Me sees him. Here he comes. Oh, oh scaring the shit out of him. Magnetic crawls skip. back in. Does anybody have a nade? Yeah. Quirkly saying, I'm not here. There's oh, nobody home. Mags Go away. Magnetic's got a nade. He's going to shoot a nade in there. Come on, Magnetics. I'm rooting for you, buddy. Shoot a nade there, kill Kirkley. Take out, come in. Just... Oh, they're pushing up on him. And there he goes. Good game. GG. That was cool. I can't believe Kirkley was the last one left as the commander. Good job <laughs> by Kirkley. Not usual. You don't see that happen very often. Three U.S. left, dude. What a good match. This is such a fun op. All infantry just going crazy. What do we got? Magnetic drops six dudes. Good job by Magnetic. Wow. Of course, Ram was the MVP, though. He took down eight with his freaking bush camp. He's the keeper of the Absolutely. bush, the bush ninja. You just call him whatever you want to. What a good game. We're going to come back with round Our two, though. This is just round one. We got another fucking round coming to this shit. And it's I can't gonna believe be cool. it. The big They'll pushes, sides, the horseshoe yep. attacks, everything that comes in is so cool. So excited. Uh, and not to mention, we're giving away a squad at the end of the stream.
that so get your butts in stick here. around. Get, yep. get ready to fucking say, I love you, CMYK Matter, or Hearts Or I love you, Muff. Or Karma Cut is the best commander ever, or XBit owns, or Kirkley is the man. Anything like that. Is when I tell you to, and you guys start typing in chat, you'll be entered to win the key already. So um, we're giving away at the end. So round one's over. We'll be right back with round two. I don't know. Maybe Penn will show you guys some of our SOTT videos or some shit like that. We'll see you in a little bit. Yeah, we'll be right back.